Okay. Um, what type of clothing, what are the weather conditions like in Antarctica and what type of clothing, what type of special equipment do you need to be able to work in such a place? Where we're working, the weather is quite variable. It can change over the course of a day. Yesterday, we, when we got up, it was it was pretty cold. It was about minus 13 Celsius, and we all bundled up to go out and do our work. It was windy, very windy. And by the time the afternoon rolled around, the wind had died down. It was a lot warmer. And by this morning, there's no wind, and the temperature is something like minus 5. And you really need... Different, different numbers of layers, different kinds of clothes. I'm actually quite hot right now, sitting here in the sun, talking to you. Um, but that's, that's part of the fun of working here, is just how variable the weather can be. You can go from a sparkling, beautiful day like this to being stuck in fog for days on end, or having blowing snow and howling wind. And right now, what I need to do is put on more sunscreen, <laughs> which... Um, you wouldn't necessarily think about, about coming to Antarctica, but this is your friend. There's not that much of your body that's exposed at any one time, but um, what is gets, gets a lot of sun. And it's because a, it's sunlight 24 hours a day. Is it so, important to keep it in your parka? It's important to keep your sunscreen in your parka, because otherwise it will freeze. And it's a lot harder to apply if it's frozen. <laughs> I'm going to do this right now. <laughs> I also like your boots. Oh, and I have these, uh, I guess they're called FDX boots, I have no idea what that means, but some people call them the blue boots or the Frankenstein boots. They're, they're big, they're, um, they have a booty that goes inside and a liner, and they're very thick, the sides of them are insulated to help keep your feet warm. They have nice treads on the bottom so that you don't slip and slide around, and uh, let's see, I put my sunglasses on. Another important piece of field equipment is your sunglasses, if you wear all the time, or sun goggles or something like that. Um, if I zip up my zipper here, you can see the top of my boots. You can see my thermal underwear there. I've got some wool socks on underneath that. My Carhartts here are uh, insulated. And when it's really cold, sometimes I put a hand warmer down inside my boot to keep my foot warm, but I'll show you. I untie these big laces. They're kind of big and awkward boots, so they lace up high. There's this strap down here to help keep them stable. Oops, I need to move my... There we go. A lot of work. There's my booty. Here's my sock. Just one sock. It's pretty warm today. Put my booty on. It's very important to put your thermal underwear on over your sock so that your socks don't fall down. That's an Antarctic faux pas to let your socks fall down. And then I tighten them back up. And I'm ready to go stomp around in the snow. Whoops. I did a very good job of that. The first year I came to Antarctica in 1991. It was the same boots. A lot of, most of the other clothing has changed. The red parka is the same as then. The blue boots were the same then. But a lot of the other clothing has changed. There's all sorts of new technology. So back when I was coming down before, they didn't issue these nice fuzzy pants. You got a uh, cotton waffle leaf, which wasn't so nice. You had green insulated pants that were the same for men and women. That part's still basically the same. It's all men's clothes. Um, there were no wind pants or wind bibs or nice things like these insulated Carhartts. Um, I had a big red and black wool checked shirt and uh, more cotton waffle weave underwear for the top. And suspenders, which I could never manage to wear correctly. What else? I don't think we had these fancy hats either. We have nicer hats. There's all this synthetic stuff now that didn't exist before pretty good. You don't have to bring too much of your own clothing unless there's something special that you really like to have.